Rose Prince and Thorn Princess. Every kingdom has its bling. Some flash gold, others flex armies. But some, they're the magical kind. Take Tulip Heart, a rainbow of tulips, or Solaria, where sunflowers practically high five the sky. But hold on to your petals, because our story is all about Scarlet Crest, a kingdom rolling in roses. Roses everywhere, in their drinks, their pies, their songs, and, well, their romantic gestures. Here, the air tasted of rose teas. The people wore their roses not just in attire, but in their very hearts. Who was behind all this? Prince Florian. Hmm, these gardens, Florian, are popping today. Thanks, Dad. Gave them a bit of extra sparkle. Check out those glowing petals. Oh, Pompanella roses in my secret garden. For you, Mom, always. Florian grew up surrounded by the love of his parents and admiration of his subjects. But one day, he was approached with alarming news. Prince Florian, huge thorns are taking over the forest. I might soon invade our kingdom. Florian was taken aback. Here. Breathe in this scent. It'll calm you. It's like nature's chill pill. Ah, that's, that's better. better. All, All rosy, rosy now. Florian rushed to the forest. Whoa, they weren't exaggerating. These thorns are massive. Weaving through the thorny maze, Florian stumbled upon, wait for it, some old castle remains. This seems to be a throne room? It is mine. Oh, hey there. Serafina, Princess Serafina. And you are? I'm Prince Florian of Scarlet Crest. Ah, yes. The infamous little rosebud prince. Not cool. My bad. Though you do look a bit plucked. What's your, huh? You're more like a featherless chicken. Madam. <laughs> I'm joking. Being isolated here, I've lost some of my social skills. Why the isolation? Castles are for princesses, not this. My thorny vibe scared everyone. Got banished to keep the family reputation. That's rough. Florian remembered to support a family. Initially, my parents visited, but it's been months now. Serafina revealed her concern, for her parents kept the thorns growing uncontrollably. If I step out, people flee. My worry amplifies the thorns. My kingdom is in danger. What if I help locate your parents? Really? Yes, if they're with you, maybe the thorns will chill out. I misjudged you, Rosebud. I said no nicknames. It's just some floral affection. Stay rosy, bud. With a clear path ahead, Florian grinned, replaying the day's wacky episode. What a day. Without wasting a moment, Florian dispatched search parties for Serafina's parents and reached out to neighboring realms. All I can do now is wait for their responses. As Florian wandered through the lively streets, the jubilation of his kingdom surrounded him. Yet, his thoughts were filled with the prickly yet intriguing Serafina. She's so different, brash, cheeky, and, well, quite fetching. Wait, what? Get a grip, Florian. Hold on. Where am I? Lost in thought, Florian had unintentionally found himself at the forest's edge. Well, since I'm already here, maybe a quick visit won't hurt. With a newfound confidence, Florian stepped into the forest, cautiously navigating around the menacing thorns. Well. Oh, it's you again, Mr. Petals. And hello to you, thorny one. Did you miss my jokes? Oh, very much. My day felt so empty without them. 
So, what brought you back? A little show for you. With a gentle move, Florian made the broken castle light up with bright glowing roses. Wow, they smell so nice. They're special to my kingdom. Growing them helps my people and brings happiness. I got you wrong. I thought you only liked easy things, but you work hard. Florian turned a bit red, looking like his roses. I see they don't have thorns. I made them that way, to show only their beauty. But without thorns, who keeps them safe? It's a happy place. We don't always need guards. Here, my thorns keep me safe from scary things. But they also keep you alone and away from fun and friends. True, but you found a way in, didn't you? Even though they were so different, Serafina and Florian started to understand each other. Florian's kind heart began to make Serafina feel warm and happy, and her strong spirit made him feel brave. Despite his efforts, Florian still had no news about Serafina's kingdom. Meanwhile, concerning the neighboring realms... Prince, there's trouble. We haven't heard from our friends Solaria and Tulipheart. That's strange. Solaria and Tulipheart are our pals. There's Chattasan, Queen Pollenheart's causing a fuss with the flower leaders. No way! She's the sweetest queen ever! This Queen Pollenheart rules Amberflame, the Bee Land. Ugh. What's got you all grumpy? Missing friends, buzzing bees, and a topsy-turvy flower world. It's a messy garden party. And you probably need a dance. With you? Why not? But really, can you help me guard my home? What if I goof up or people don't like me? Your thorns are cool. They're strong and brave. We need that now. This pep talk brightens Serafina right up. You with me? All the way, Rosie. She allowed herself to be led out of the forest. They soon reached the kingdom, but were met by the frenzied messenger. Bad news, Prince. Oh no, what now? I've received word from the nearby kingdom. They've been attacked by Queen Pollenheart, and she's heading this way with her entire bee army. Fear enveloped Florian, and seeing this, Serafina stepped up. We don't have much time. Serafina! Don't worry, Florian, I've got this. As Serafina thought about Florian's unending kindness and faith in her, she channeled her magic around the kingdom, barricading it against the incoming swarm of bees. No harm will come to anyone. Just as she'd finished, a few of Pollenhart's soldiers came to attack. Ah! Oh! oh no! Ha! Ah! With a quick move, Serafina caught the bees without giving them a single scratch. Let go of my crew, or your pals get it. Friends? Help, we're, we're here. here. Serafina, our, our darling. darling. Mom, Dad? Why are you doing this, Queen Pollenheart? These fancy flower folks, my home's in trouble. I asked them to help, but I got a big fat no. Why spoil our flowers for you? Yes, why must me listen to a wind creature's demands? Florian was aghast at hearing this. How can you say that? Just because she isn't a flower royal? Even as flowers, we are all are different from one another. And that difference is what brings about so much beauty. Florian. Don't you think so, Serafina? I do. Also, your flower royals need Queen Pollenheart. Her bees help in pollinating your gardens allowing the flowers to grow. Hmm. Dad, remember your honey cake munchies? Without this lovely queen bee... Oh my! 
No more yummy breakfasts. Oops. The flower kings and queens looked pretty silly now. They said sorry real fast. All right, all right. Apology taken. Off you go. Paul and Hart released the imprisoned royals, and Serafina let loose the bee soldiers. And just like that, the giant thorn walls vanished. Florian, always the gracious host, welcomed everyone into his grand palace. Within those walls, old grudges melted away. And guess what? Our sassy Serafina and Queen Pollenhart? Total besties now! Got quite the spark, don't you? Takes one to know one. You're, You're my, my kind, kind of royal. royal. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, thanks you two. Drop by any time, Serafina. Buzz you later. As others drifted away, Serafina spotted her folks, looking a bit lost. She walked over. Honey, we were so wrong. Thank you. You're our perfect little gem. Ready to come back? With a nod and a smile, Serafina agreed. But before she left, she had one last person to thank. You started it all, Florian. Nah, you were the star. Take care, spiky princess. Farewell, Rosie Prince. And off she went. But was it really the end? No, no way. way! From sunny picnics to waterfall adventures, these two had a blast. Until on a golden beach evening. Make me the luckiest flower? Marry me? Absolutely! A wedding like no other. Yay! Yeah! Yeah! Here we go! <laughs> this tale, not just about kingdoms or bees. It's about celebrating differences, being your own hero, and above all, embracing every part of ourselves, our strengths, and our vulnerabilities. Because in life, if you want the flowers, you have to accept the thorns.